Right, so this is the second PlayStation Plus game. Now, it's not gone live yet. It doesn't go live until Tuesday. Um, I had it actually owned already, so I've downloaded it, and this is What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, I haven't actually played the game. It's just one that I already owned, and I had it in my game library of games ready to install. And it's by the makers of a previous PS Plus game called uh, The Unfinished Swan. Now, that game, I will be honest, I actually really, really enjoyed. But this one, I have no idea what to expect from it. Now, at the moment, I'm kind of stuck, sat down. Oh, I have some flowers and a book and a cast. And I'm either really dirty or I've got tons of freckles. Um, okay. How do I turn the page? Oh, there we go. Like, imagine if this was the full game, just story time. But if it plays similar to Unfinished Swan, or it's the same kind of gameplay or story for it, it is definitely worth a play because I enjoyed that game so much, even though it wasn't one that I'd ever heard of. And when you see a tiny bit of gameplay for it, it looks awful. But I loved it. Right, so I take it that's where we have to go. No trespassing. Where are we going to go then? I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, never mind. Literally just walk straight through. In a my mother left me key, but tell me um, probably a lock. Maybe she's out of now. Or possibly she told you, but you didn't listen. You never know. Like, I don't mind some of these kind of games. Just because when you're not in the mood for something where you proper have to sit on the edge of your seat and concentrate. But then at the same time, you don't just want to watch TV. They can be pretty fun to play. And if you like a trophy hunter as well. Easy trophies. Am I going to get eaten by this creep? No. Can we chase it? I want to chase it. I want to pet it. No. The truth is, even after right. Only thing is, you can't sprint. You have to go through the game at this pace. Okay. The only reason that I even end up playing through these games, like, I'll start them and it'll intrigue me. And I'm curious, what's that key for? What's in this house? The house was exactly it looks like some out of Hello Neighbor, the way that it's creepily built up. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't... Because you lived up there and you were scared that it was going to break and you were going to fall and land on your face. Maybe the key's just for the front door. Oh, it was. I hope the key might unlock the front door. No. Okay, I was wrong. What? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting. See, it's intriguing me. Like, it's not a game that I'd heard of, it's not a game that I ever fancied playing, but I'm curious. And it makes me want to play the game just to find out what the game's even about. Right, obvious next step, try for a front door or climb, try for a back door, sorry, or go through the window, if there's a window. So I'm looking for like a little white thing to pop up on screen. Oh, wind chimes. Are we going to go through a cat flap? Like, we didn't even try the key on that door. Going through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Can't even see what that is. Um, shall we take a weapon? No, we can't do anything. Still, the thing with these, there literally is never anything to do apart from just follow it through and listen to the story. Sometimes you have to find stuff, sometimes you don't. Alright, let's turn the light on. No? Okay. 
for the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Like, straight up, first impressions. When I saw a bit of gameplay for this, I wasn't interested at all, and I was really disappointed. But instead of a family... But after just... actually having a go of it, with it being a choice of this, or Overcooked, that I'd say is one that I'm looking forward to playing through the most. At the moment, I'm going to say this one. I'm really intrigued. Well, I love salmon, so I don't care. See, I don't know how much to kind of play through on this. Like, I don't, I'll probably end the video soon, but I'll probably still end up playing it. Can I ride this around? No. See, the, the trophies for this one will be like, make sure you read every note, um, try and do it in the quickest time possible, that kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm guessing. If it was to eat a lifetime supply of uh, salmon, you'd be set. In the house looked abnormal. How's it's that not look abnormal? Like a smile to my teeth. Let's look through the spy hole. Oh, I can. Edie told me once that every inch who ever lived is buried somewhere. So there's people buried in the library. That's not creepy at all. I didn't actually think I'd be able to look through there. Can't just guess. My mom wasn't much an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Right, so we're being through there. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised by the key. Right, okay. What's the key for? Does the TV work? No. Oh yeah, the power's gone. I want to know what the key's for. Well, I know it's a spoiler, and I kind of like the story for it at the moment anyway. But any of you guys that have actually played it, if you know what the key's for, send me a tweet. You'll see a thing on screen at the moment. It was like a bomb had gone off. Killing everyone that's staring at No, that's like you've just got a load of kids. That's what my kitchen looks like. I've got two kids. My kitchen's probably worse than that. Um, okay. Creepy bugs. Never mind. What's this? Is it a music box? What? Do you have to keep hold of it while you spin it? Like, that's the most awkward control ever, even though it looks so easy on the video. Great Grandpa Sven sells music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Nice. Right, I need a save point, and then I'm going to end the video. Like, if you guys want to see more, leave a like. Like, it's one that I'm probably going to carry on playing through anyway. But if you want to see a video of just a straight playthrough, let me know. Spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Something's fishy in here. Ah. Oh, this is what the key's for. Please tell me it's what the key's for. Yeah, you don't need to tweet at me anymore. I figured it out myself. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. What? Now it was time to find out what my mom had been up to. Ooh, I think this would be the perfect point to end it. Guys, if you want to see what happens next, leave a like and I'll probably do a longer playthrough. I might even do a stream of it at some point, maybe. If enough of you guys leave a like. Um, otherwise, go download it because this game looks pretty sick to be fair. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.